That came from somewhere. Kindly look out one of these two windows. I see nothing. There Hold is, on. There is a, a thing in the way. Kindly look out this window. Oh my. I've been a busy little beaver. Many, many shovels later. Oh my, Kyle. There's, there's a hole in the desert. be bonding. Why aren't the molecules bonding together? The calculations are all correct. Should be working. Why is it not? Maybe if only I had more time. God damn it, who is it? Sorry to disturb you, sir, but we have found the test subjects. Excellent. Hopefully now we'll be able to finish my work. Send a team out to Collect them. Yes, sir. Hi, guys, and welcome back to Addicted Gaming UK. As ever, I'm Rob Sommer, and we are back playing some more Seven Days to Mine. Uh, are oh. you recording while I'm in the bathroom? Hello. Yeah? I'm... Why would... But, 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 you, you get good acoustics here. It is true. It is very true. I mean, I mean, listen, listen to how acoustic this is. I need to escape. I need to leave here. <laughs> anyway, I didn't it's know you were on the toilet because so you, you didn't have the light on. So it was your own I fault. Did. The light is always on. Bro. <laughs> so it's so been I've a while been since we've recorded. Boy. Again. As, like, what was it? Like a month? Well. Since we recorded a month, we've both been on, like, for the last week. Yeah, yeah, we've been on it, like, usually at different times. Um, so, mm -hmm. Kyle's you, you been just on... kind of let it going so I could, uh... Because I need my stuff in the cold coke oven and, um, blast furnace to smelt, so you've just kind of been leaving it on for a while. Yeah, yeah, you've been doing your railcraft stuff. I've been doing quite a lot of mining, uh, as you may have noticed from all these ores and things um, like that that we have. I did. I actually set up a couple of things in here myself, because uh, I have some things I need to do with this. But, um, yes, would you like to see my railcraft setup and what I've done? Yes, good sir. Alright, well, first of all, you remember the blast furnaces. I do. Not the blast furnaces, these are the coke ovens. Good day. Um, I, I made a bunch of buckets, good day, and um, collected the creosote oil out of those. All right. Which is sort of a byproduct when uh, you make the coal coke. And if you come over tell here, you'll where see my is that oil? contraption. Oh, hello. Right here. If this is a tank, a multi-block structure. All right. That it can hold a a, a metric butt ton. It looks like it's Very filled with oil. urine. Uh that is creosote oil, sir. Don't read into it too much. Okay. Don't don't look at it too much either. Um, now these. I'll get into these tank walls a bit. Uh, there's the blast furnaces. Oh, yes, I think these were here last time. A shitload of steel. Look in this chest. Oh, my. We have quite a lot of steel here. Shitload of steel. Um, with said steel and uh, other components, I made these things, which is... Oh. This is a generator, a uh, hobbyist steam engine, which powers my rolling machine. Cool. And with the rolling machine, you can probably see there, I've got some uh, standard rails. Look in here, and you'll see exactly how many standard rails I have. My lord, good sir, you have a shit ton of standard rails! Metric shit ton! Oh my god, Kyle, you also have quite a lot of sand. That, uh, I can explain that, you'll see later. That, that's um, a lot of sand. These tank walls, in order to make the tank walls, I needed to put, um... If you come over to the rolling machine... Yes, sir. You see the configuration it's in now, in the middle it says standard rail. Oh, yes. Uh, that basically shows what you're making. So when I do this... It can now make iron plates, and I need those to make the tank walls. Aha! Uh -huh. Now, of course, uh, the tank wall... I don't really know much about what else I can make with those uh, iron plates, so that's why I was making mostly standard rails. 
And uh, if I was to take his disavowed and come over here, Ooh. I will show you uh, how to. Uh, no, okay. Now I just need to take this stuff. Now I believe it is like this. No. <laughs> no. No. Well, it's a complicated system, Robbie. Can't <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Hold on, let me look it up and I'll show you how to make a rail. Is it not wood down the middle and uh, then rails on the side? Rail. Oh, that's what I need those for. <laughs> uh, no, because with... um. With Rarecraft, they actually change a lot of what, uh... Like, they change a few of the crafting recipes. Those devils! And that's... That's actually what I need the Creaso oil for. Did not know that previously. Come into this with me again. My lord, what do we use, um, coal coke for? Uh, that is what powers the blast furnace to make the steel. Alright. Now, I make these acacia wood slabs. Doesn't matter what they are, but, Sweet. you know, wood slabs. Uh, I put them like this with a creosote oil, and it makes wooden tie. Aha! And now it only makes it only makes one per bucket of creosote oil, so... Oh, my uh, word. It is a little expensive. I may have accidentally just made a buttload of drying racks. <laughs> Oh well, we, um, we will ooh. feast on zombie jerky this evening. Now, good day. These wooden ties, I take and do this, and that makes a wooden rail bed. It does indeed. So now I put the rail bed there. I uh, surround it in standard rails, and it makes thirty-two tracks. Oh. So now we can thing. go 32 in any direction. Now I will make more of those off screen or just later when I'm bored. But in general, that is what that is. Now we have the steel, which we can use in tinkers. Uh, but it's also used for a lot of other things. Such as, if, if I'm right, the minecart is different to make too. All right. <laughs> I'm there, there's different type of uh, minecarts as well, isn't there? So many freaking minecarts, Rob. <laughs> but uh, what I was actually planning on making this episode is a little exciting. Oh, yes? Do tell. Uh, give me one moment, and I will not need to. I will show. I am all of a quiver. Uh, I need... Uh... Do you have any cobblestone on you, sir? Good, sir. I do not. I will go and get some. Post haste. Excellent. How much do I you need? I need 16. 16. Now you see, or just two furnaces. That that may be a problem, because I think I threw away like pretty much all of our cobblestone, because we didn't need it. Um, oh, I found, I found, I found 64. Oh, I've, I've got a load of um, furnaces. Here's three furnaces. Oh, excellent. In that case, I need... Excellent. In that case, come over here and you will she. Yeah. As I make a chest! <gasps> and then I it's put that chest thing. in a minecart! Oh my. And then I take these two, I do this, da da da, and. Bam! My that god, right sir, what the hell is, is that? That would be a tunnel bore. With this, we will never need to go mining again. I can't do anything with it. Uh, that's because it, it, that is basically a giant minecart. And when I say giant, I mean, for the love of Christ, don't place it down here. Don't, don't you do it. Rob, Rob, stop it. Stop well, it. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> now, with the tunnel bore, uh, I do have something rather special in mind for it. But it does, requires a lot of materials. And by that, I mean nine diamonds. Nine diamonds, good sir. Nine, an entire block of diamonds. Well, luckily, 
Now, if I, I take these diamonds, surround it in... Oh my. Tunnel... Diamond boar head. Oh, do, you, do you need now the tunnel Now, if you would kindly... Head? Kindly place it in the chest. I threw it at you. It's your feet. You... Sickened me. Oh. Not really. Only a little bit. I cried. Like seven out of five. Like seven out of five. And that is, uh, with that tunnel bore, basically what it does, you know how with a tinker's hammer, you hit a block and it breaks the, uh, three, the, like, three by three around oh, the block? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It is basically going to tunnel its way through that, like, through an area that big, and place tracks behind it as it goes. Oh. Essentially building a railroad for us. Well, that... And once it gets far handy. enough, I plan to set up a... Grandiose rail station, bigger than this one, more fabulous than this one. Well, this Grandiose! Is pretty much just a big shed. How very dare you. It is a large shack, sir. It's, it's a big wooden square. I mean, it looks exactly like the outhouse, but with windows. And it <laughs> yeah. smells a lot <laughs> greasier. But it is glorious. And, um, yes, big plans. Big plans for that. I now awesome. realize what I need the creosote oil for, other than just making a big tank that looks cool. Uh, is it for fuel? Uh, it's for making the track beds. Ah, yes. And that is, all oh, that and, you know, farming for trees and, like, farming for wood, and, uh, if you follow me... Up to the uh, second floor, you will see my other handiwork. You know how you said I had a buttload of sand? Yeah. Like a metric buttload. Uh, uh, that came from somewhere. Kindly look out one of these two windows. I see nothing. There Hold is, on. There is a, a thing in the way. Kindly look out this window. Oh my. I've been a busy little beaver. Many, many shovels later. Oh my, Kyle. There's, there's a hole in the desert. And I see you've actually made use of some of the stuff I haven't used. The sandstone, because that looks like a sandstone axe. Yes, I, I have a full range of sandstone scrub items. Um, I, I think I made them last episode, but they're not very good. Um, so I could do with replacing them post haste. Well, don't worry, because, um, unfortunately, uh, I went mining also, and I died. Surprise, surprise. That's uh, And I actually expected. lost all my tinker stuff. Ah. <laughs> I lost my, um, I lost my butt stuff, I lost my choppy, I lost my, uh, s something about Robin Willies. Hey. And that's why, that brings me to over here, which, um, I have collected a series of materials used for making shiat. The finest so, of shit. Alright, this is my